Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right, men, saddle up! And no dawdling. The last one there won't find me a happy man.
Where's your master? In... in the paddock. Crucifix? What kind of beast could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming... Must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them... They killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck! Someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. They won't get away no. with this. You can go to hell, all of you. But I'd just like to know. And I'd like for my friends not to be murdered, while you sit warm and safe behind those castle walls. But we came just as soon as we could. You tell that to Franta. Lying there. Fucking lying there, splitting to you like a pig. Go see him. Go fucking tell him that you came as soon as you could. Uh, what a fucking mess. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors, from Skalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? <laughs> yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other side to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, 
A little before dawn. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down, or a gate. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognise any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. How could anyone be so cruel? They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? Could anyone be so cruel? <whistles> Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. How could anyone be so cruel? <laughs> I 
Are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. Did they take anything? No. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask.
Yes, it really got me good. How could it be so wrong? And who the hell brought those other fellows here? Fucking greenhorns. Won't kill that ginger brat from the farm, and then they slice you up. We'll find those bastards, and I'll send them straight to hell myself. <laughs> but I'll already be there, waiting for them. Don't talk that way. We'll get back to the camp, and I'll take care of you there. No, my friend. I'm not long for this world. Go, before someone finds us here. Don't worry about me. You know I can't leave you here. If they find you... I know. I wanted to do it myself, but I don't even have the strength for that. What kind of nonsense is that? Christ's sake, what other options do I have? I won't make it to camp and you know it. You want to leave me here to die in agony? All right, then. How? How should I? Just... Gone weak at the knees, have ya? Just... Uh, fucker! <sighs> ah. Are you... Uh. I'm fucking dying here. <laughs> Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and... Uh, some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. Uh. Why, it's a hoof pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it.
Do you know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. <laughs> Ask Jacob. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how it looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know, but you got to promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. And they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Jesus Christ be praised. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well... As for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry. 
Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. God be with you. I'm looking for a ginger haired boy. I hear he's friends with some charcoal burners. We ain't friends with no redhead. He works as a stable boy in the stud farm. I know where that is, but I don't know no one from there. What do you want? I've got a lot on my hands here. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for a ginger haired boy. I hear he's friends with some charcoal burners. We ain't friends with no redhead. He works as a stable boy in the stud farm. I know where that is, but I don't know no one from there. God be with you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. I have to find him. If you're hiding him, then... Then what? Then you're stopping me from catching a killer. Murder was committed in Neuhof, and I'm looking for a boy who fled the place shortly after. I'm certainly know something. Calm down, lad, for the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. But they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else.
What are you doing here? Why do you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here, and it's my job to protect these woods from poachers. Well, I'm certainly not poaching. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Certainly. Go ahead and look. Mm. All right. Nothing suspicious here. You may leave, Goodman. God be with you. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. So where does he usually go if not here? You think we're the only charcoal burners in these woods? Probably not. But this is a big forest, and I don't have time to look under every stone in it. And you don't need to look under every stone. All you have to do is follow the river, and you might just run into another camp. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him to talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Talmberg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Talmberg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you.
My respects to you. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you... What the hell are you talking about? Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Won't you take care of them? We won't have to hide him anymore. I dealt with that pair. I happened to run into them and, uh, well, it didn't end well for them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm, maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. It's not my fault. There was nothing I could have done to help. I was frozen solid. I couldn't even open my mouth. I couldn't even get a peep out. They would have killed me if I'd said anything. I couldn't stop what happened. I'm not to blame. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? Wh what? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And... I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. 
This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And... Oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't. But they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand. <laughs>